Welcome back. This is Rupesh and you are watching CPPNet's video series on C++. In this video, we will be learning two things. First is data type, this one, and another one is variable, these things. Okay. So let's try to understand what is this data type here. So as you can see, we are having these different different data. So this one, two, three, four, and all that is integer data type. We all know that. Okay. And this A, B, C, D and all that is character data type. And another one is 1.5 and 2.6 and all that is float data type or double data type. Okay. So in computers also, if you want to store some value, you have to give specific data type for that. Let's see if you are storing this 10 here, this is nothing but your integer data type. So you are creating a variable which is taking this value and storing inside it and that variable is of type integer. So this is the whole key. Like if you want to store some value, what is the data type of that value? If it is point like this one, 10,000.0, then this is a floating point number. So either you will store this number into this float data type or in double data type. And the reason for having two data type for storing same type of data is this float can store up to some limit only like this can store only smaller values in points but this double is capable of storing very big number okay so you can see that we are storing this character here in this variable called c this could be anything like you can keep it c h is equal to a like this okay so for simplicity, I have given only very small names here. So I think it's clear like if you want to store this data, you will be creating variable with integer data type and you will store this data in that. If you want character data like this A here, you will be creating character data type variable and you will store that data in that. Okay. So this whole thing is a data and this part is data type. Okay. So it's very simple. So this was about data type. Now let's talk about this variable in depth. So I'll remove this everything here. As I told you, you can create variable of data types like this one. So let's try to understand it little more deeply. Variable is nothing but a place in the memory. And what is that memory? Your RAM. Okay. So let's suppose you are having this RAM here and in RAM you will store A like this. So it has stored in RAM you will be having some address like 01026. It depends how much big your RAM is. It will start from 0 and N. And in middle, we are storing that A somewhere in your RAM. Okay. This is RAM. This is the value and this is the address to get this value in your RAM. Actually, it works like this. There is one byte in your RAM. If you want to store some data into that, you store some data and you note down that where did I place that data. This is the address and next time if you want that data, you come to that address and take that data. Okay. So it works this way. Now let's see what is this C here. So it is nothing but a place name. See if it is like 1, 2, 6, 8 and uh, 2, 3, 4, 6 like this and you are having different different data like C and B here. It will be tough for you to remember that number. Okay, that's why we started giving friendly name and there is some conversion in your program that convert this name and find the address of that and go to the value portion and fetch it and use that. Okay, it looks something like this. This is the place where your value is stored like A. This is the name of that place. Okay, and there is this address like 01126. Okay, so this is how we understand this variable thing here. Okay, and uh, now let's talk about how to give your variable name. Here I have given C, V, X, F. These things are bad practice because there is no meaning associated with these name. So if you will create some variable, then it should have some meaning. Okay, like if you are creating this integer here, then X is not telling anything like what is the significance of this variable. So if you will create it like integer and like number and U M B E R is equal to 10. Okay. So this is telling that this is some number 
and it has some significance but this x is just x okay so this is a bad practice we should not create variables like this we should give the proper name so that if someone is looking at your program they can understand that okay why did you create this variable okay so give meaningful name to your variable that's it and there are some restrictions you cannot just create your variable so we'll see first what are those restrictions on creating variable name so the first restriction is you cannot make it more than 255 character like if you are creating like class fd something like this this whole number should not increase more than 255 okay if it is increasing 255 then there is a error okay so actually no one goes till that limit but it is still the limitation so the second limitation is you must begin with letter or underscore okay so this is letter a character okay or you can create it with underscore also this one but you cannot write like one underscore c no this is not the proper way of writing a variable okay if you will try to compile this code it will tell you the error okay and third point is after first character it can contain numbers so this character is first character if you will write c1 then that is valid name and fourth point is spatial symbols are not allowed in variable name okay and space is also not allowed you cannot make like c space c no there are two different variables here then and it is case sensitive it means if you are creating this character c here and let's suppose you are creating another variable with this capital c is equal to some another character then it work it means these two variables are different different variables okay and the last one is there are few keywords you cannot use as variable okay this blue stuff whatever is looking here is keyword like integer it is data type name you cannot create your variable with integer name like character integer no if you want you can type full name like this then there is no issue but you cannot keep it like integer you cannot keep it like character here bool integer flow double okay these things are reserved keywords they have meaning associated with them so you cannot use as the variable okay so this was about restriction part in variable names okay so if i will print something like here see how we all know how to print something so if i'll print small c here it will print a here so let's check that see it is printing a here okay so similar to this one if you will print this capital c it will print r so let's check that also capital c run that again see first is a second one is r so like that it work we can print this x as well like this one we will print that see 10 is coming okay and if you will plus some value like 19 so it will add that value with this 19 here so if we will run that it will give the added value like this one 29 okay so it is clearly showing that it is storing some value like this one and you can use that variable wherever you want to use that okay variables are having very big role in our programming and this is not very hard part to understand okay we can do lots of stuff with this variables let's try to do some manipulation here it will be very easy for you to understand this so let's suppose you are having this integer variable x here and you are storing 10 into that and we have some operation okay like printing that so we'll print it we know it will print 10 only let's do some operation like x is equal to x plus 10 okay then what it is doing it is taking 10 and adding another 10 and pushing that 20 in that x again okay so if you will print it it will print 20 this time okay let's just check that out see first is 10 another one is 20 here okay so this is how you can manipulate your variables and work with them okay and if you have got some book you will see that in variable section it has some specific size like this is integer data type so it can store maximum up to some number okay and if it is character it can store up to some number if it is float and double it can store up to some number so that is theory part 
there is nothing to understand anything in that so this was variable now let's create a constant variable so if you want to make a constant variable you just type const here now this variable has become constant so what is the meaning of constant variable here if you are creating constant variable in your program once you have assigned some value later on you are not able to change that see here we were changing it and we were getting some value like 10 and 20 but now if i will compile this this program will tell some error okay so let's try to recompile this and see the error here see it is telling that there is some error in this line because you are going to change it and where is the error message here and see this is your error message it is telling that assignment of read only variable x okay so if it is not visible i will take this up here see this one okay so if you don't want this error you just don't assign anything to this variable and why we create constant variable we want to store some value and you don't want that variable to change in future okay so that's why we create those variables so this was about variables and data types so if you have any doubt please comment otherwise let's check out the next video which is about escape sequence in c++ so i'll see you in the next video